Hi, I'm Sochil Gonzalez. I'm best known as the author of the book, Olga Dies Dreaming, as well as my new book, Anita DeMonte Last Last, which is a Reese's Book Club pick. And these are seven things you learn writing a book later in life. One, you can write more interesting characters. I didn't become a writer until later in life. I used to be a wedding planner. Um, and writing a book a little later in life, you realize that you have a more vast palette to paint with when you create your characters. You have just been exposed to so many more kinds of people and careers and quirks that you can borrow to build a whole person that helps tell a story that you're trying to create. Certainly in my first book, I used a wealth of professions, catering captains, city councilmen, entrepreneurs that I had exposure to in all my years of work experience to make the right characters to drive the plot forward in a believable way. Two, you can write about history because you've lived it. You realize that you have lived history and living history and thinking about history are really different. I went to college before cell phones and the internet, lived in New York on 9-11 and owned a small business during the Great Recession. Sometimes when I consider the events of now and want to write fiction about them, I realize certain eras of the past would actually be better settings for a story. It expands my canvas of setting in a way. And because I can recall the feelings, I can write them authentically and not like some overly researched thing. Three, you have access to life experience at different ages. You have so much more access to different ages for your characters. We can imagine things, of course, but as I've gotten older, I have authentic access to more perspectives to draw upon in my writing. I remember my own youth, I engage with the children and my friends, I'm experiencing and watching men and women around me enter middle age and our parents aging. Four, it's easier to create the time to do it. Time management, but the hardest part about writing is making the time to do it especially when you have demands outside of your writing, like kids or a day job. I think as I've gotten older, I've had a time managed for so much more, workouts and family time and friends, but it's gotten paradoxically easier to block out my writing time the busier that I get, probably because it gets easier as you get older to say no. Five, you have more patience. Patience. I've noticed this even from my first book to the second. I just have more patience for revision and more patience for the story to come together. You can look back and remember how fast the time you spent doing something felt to the point that taking an extra two weeks or a month to go through the manuscript again feels like a blip in the scheme of time. The excitement to get it right becomes greater than the excitement to get it done, even if that just means putting the whole thing aside for a period. Six, you have more empathy. Writing a book later in life, I realized I just have more empathy for characters, even the ones who are kind of bad. I think in all these years of talking to people, you realize everyone is a whole person. Some might behave terribly, but then I want to know why. At some point they were just a kid like everyone else, they fell in love for the first time, or they felt lost for the first time, or worked hard for something and are terrified of losing it. It doesn't justify what they do, but it makes me want to render them as whole as possible, to complicate them and things just a little bit. Seven, you realize writing is a luxury. This writing is ultimately a playground. Coming to writing later in life, I think it's given me a perspective that this can be challenging emotionally sometimes, getting into the heads of dark people doing dark things, but that the work itself is liberating. I've had so many jobs where my mind was bored or my body was exhausted and my soul was stressed. I think because of that, even when it feels hard or I have a looming deadline, those past lives help me remember that writing is a playground where I can tap into feelings and help other people feel things. It helps me keep things light, even when they are heavy or heady.